All right, so this is the next day. I worked for quite a number of hours on repotting all of these orchids along with several others. And so let's just do a quick tour of all my Brookside orchids in their new setups. So I'm gonna start way over here, the beautiful Phalaenopsis Chia E. Yenlin. Beautiful variegated leaves. She's in a brand new bark mix. She had a really good root system getting her out of this little three inch cramped pot. Um, I think she's gonna do really well. Uh, she still has her four amazing flowers and they're not fragrant uh, or I haven't picked up on a fragrance, but it doesn't matter to me. She's absolutely gorgeous. And then next we've got Yafon Yellow Balm. This is uh, uh, Yafon Lover crossed with Amboinensis. And again, this one, all of these were in just these little three inch all moss uh, setups. So what I did is uh, I've done a bark moss mixture. Of course, I put in slow release fertilizer pellets. Uh, the bark mixture uh, is, um, I use Better Grow Phalaenopsis mixtures and I also use Fertilome. So I was kind of mixing the both of them because Fertilome has some things that I like and Better Grow has some other things that I like. So like for example, um, Fertilome has a lot of these rocks. Or lava rock and um, the the better grow has um, more charcoal although well fertilome has charcoal too but um, better grow has more perlite pieces so anyway not even seeing one perlite piece here but I try to get a good mixture of all those things and um, the roots almost all these uh, were pretty constricted, so I'm so glad I got these repots done. Um, and some of them actually barely had any roots, so hopefully they're going to be happier. I think they were just starting to not do well in the moss, and I think the moss was turning too acidic. So this next one uh, is my Phalaenopsis tetraspis carulia. It's a species orchid native to Sumatra, Andaman, and Nico Bar Islands, I think that says. It has one flower spike for me, which it's been working on for a number of months, hoping to see some blooms. And I think it's gonna put out a second one for me, although that could be a root uh, right in there. This one had a pretty good root structure, so I'm not con too concerned with it adjusting. Um, we'll jump to this one next, Yafon Evergreen, which is Chang Ma Evergreen crossed with Ho's Kong, Kong Feng uh, Glory, I think. I think that word is glory. This one's been working on a gorgeous shiny leaf for me. Um, aerial root that I preserved. Um, got some new roots over here for the spring. I think it's gonna do great. Um, this next one is the Yin's Black Eagle, Dragon Tree Eagle crossed with Girl Speak. And it's working on this new leaf. And for whatever reason, this leaf is a little wonky, but again, I think they're all gonna be so happy being out of the moss that they were in. I'm gonna jump over here. This one I actually didn't repot. This is one of the only Brookside Phalaenopsis I got that was already in bark. And the bark seems to be in pretty good shape, but uh, I also ran out, it was like one of the last ones, like if I had, if I still had some of my bark mixture left, I would repot this one, but it certainly is not urgent. So, um, but this is my uh, Phalaenopsis 
gigantea. It's a species from Saba, Borneo, and Sarawak. The next one is one of my critical care orchids. It's got all this discoloration. You can see kind of this yellow. I think it had a nutrient deficiency, so I've been uh, fertilizing it regularly, but it also did not have very many roots. So this is my uh, Sogoshito cross with Brother Sarah Gold. It is working on a new little root. Um, it's got a couple roots in the pot. They're not very uh, in the greatest of health, so I am keeping a very close eye on this one. And again, it's featured in my critical care orchid videos. The next one is a new one for me, Phalaenopsis sandariana. I got it in the same Brookside Hall as the Gigantia and uh, got this one repotted. Roots weren't in the greatest of shape, so again, so happy to get this one out of that moss. It's working on this new leaf. I think it'll settle in quite nicely. Next one I got several months ago, or maybe about four or five months ago, it's the Fantastic Green Envy, which is a Bellina crossed with Golden Pioker. And um, this one, the root system was very poor. I think I've only got a couple roots. Thankfully, it's got this new one right here that wants to grow. I'm hoping to see that do well in the updated setup. Next, we have Phalaenopsis Metau King Bellina. This is the LD's Bear King crossed with LD Bellina Eagle. And this one actually had a really good root system. And I'm waiting to see if a new leaf might come out. And so far, the majority of these, there's absolutely no flower spikes. So maybe I waited too long to do these repots. The only flower spike is, just backing up a bit, is the Tetraspis Cerulea. And um, the Chia, the Sogo Yenlin, or Chia E Yenlin, that actually bloomed for me. But no flower spikes on these. Next we have, uh, this was also part of the Gigantia and Sandariana haul just recently. My Phalaenopsis zebrina, Palawan type. It's also a species from Palawan Island, Philippines. And it's looking pretty good. Got a little injury on the leaf there. I'm not sure if I caused that, honestly, but root system wasn't too bad. I think, again, it's gonna really like this moss bark setup. Next, we have Tyne Shinfly Eagle, Wilson number 66. This one put out, has put out quite a bit of aerial roots. You see this one tucked under here. It's quite long. Here's the origin. It's got this root and that root. And the roots in the pot, there's several real good ones as well. I decided to keep the aerial roots as is. They're doing really well in my relative humidity. Next, we have a uh, Gia Ho Summer Love. This is Taisuko Mickey crossed with Bellina. And this is the most upright one. If you look at, look how it's growing, it wants to grow up compared to like that one and that one. These are more, uh, Fantastic is kind of upright so far. Um, but a lot of the other ones, they want to drape over. So I'm trying to let everybody do what they want to do. Um, try not to make them do, uh, or you know, grow in a way they don't want to. So this one I kept up right when I repotted it. It had a great root system. It must have been so miserable in that little teeny tiny pot. And again, all the, the moss, it was ready, ready to be changed. Next, I have my Phalaenopsis celebensis. This one I've had since uh, my birthday. Most of these are my birthday orchids from last September. And this one actually was infested with mealybugs, unfortunately. Now, I'm not saying it came to me that way from Brookside, but I sure discovered them shortly after I got it and um, took measures to stop it. And um, it damaged the infestation damaged this leaf so it really it didn't grow well and then um, it put out this leaf 
and it was still recovering at that point and now it has really it's really starting to recover and it's put out this gorgeous new leaf so I'm so happy um, I didn't get to repot this one yet I ran out of media uh, but I had repotted it when it was infested so this is not the original moss this is my moss so I know it's not even a year old although I've got some um, mineral deposits starting to form or the salts so I got to do some more flushes on this or watch watch that I don't want to do any root burn um, but I'm getting some real good new root growth coming out this spring so I, I, I think it's doing really good and then uh, this isn't a Brookside orchid I bought this from um, uh, a different vendor uh, Sorry. Oh, Norman's orchids. I haven't posted my video yet. This is uh, one of two orchids I bought from Norman's. I actually purchased two more. They haven't arrived yet, so I'll do a feature on those soon. But this is a celebensis, and I was really curious. It was an accidental purchase, but I'm kind of really happy it happened. Uh, my collection is so large, I forgot I already had a celebensis. For whatever reason, I was thinking this, this celebensis was a different Type of species but uh, look at the difference in coloration so uh, I'm gonna pop these together um, I think that's what I'm thinking so for now they're they're hanging out they're becoming buddies but um, yeah I don't know if it's a difference in lighting but they're both gorgeous to me but I'm really glad this happened and I only just got this one less than two weeks ago so this is brand spanking new uh, but I think that's going to be a different look than this one. The last Brookside one that I repotted yesterday is the LD's Bear Queen. That's Belina Cross's Dragon Tree Eagle. Now you might be hearing some um, sort of a, a trend here, but you know some of these others have like a dragon tree and in the cross, etc. So like the Yin's Black Eagle has Dragon Tree Eagle in it. So this is a cross Dragon Tree Eagle with a Bellina. And this poor thing, the roots, I'm so glad. This was one of my newer purchases, uh, maybe a couple months ago. And uh, the, the, I think she maybe has one partial good root and that's it. I'm really hoping she makes it. She looks beautiful. She's working on this new leaf. And I'm going to include another non Brookside orchid in this because it's her boyfriend or her significant other. Uh, it is the LD's Bear King. So again, we're talking about the LD's Bear Queen. Uh, I also have the Bear King, RH3, which is Hanover Passion Cross with Dragon Tree Eagle. And he had to be featured along with her because they stay together. They are now a couple. I got him uh, also from uh, a present. So I have a whole bunch of birthday orchids here from September because my birthday is in September. But this is my Christmas orchid uh, from my husband. And it's got two flower spikes and new roots are coming in. He's a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. And this one came from Orchids by Hauserman, who's out of Illinois. Uh, here's the other flower spikes. So you can see the two flower spikes there. But so I've had him since Christmas. And then when I saw Brookside had this uh, bear queen, I was like, well, the bear king must have his bear queen. Now she's going to struggle for a little while, but I think with his support, she's going to take off and be super happy. So there's the, the happy couple right there. Anyway. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of my Brookside orchids and um, now they're all repotted. I'm hoping to get some flower spikes and have more news about them as time goes on and that they will all do well. I'm wishing you all a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Take care.